Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Today, let's talk about tires. Uh, specifically about when to change your tires. Now, we all know, um, you know, the whole deal of taking a penny, sticking it in the thread, and if you can see the top of Lincoln's head, it's time for new tires, right? Well, that's because the legal minimum that you need to have uh, on summer tires is 1.6 millimeters of tread depth. So if we go here and stick it in, these are my summer tires here. You can see I actually have six and a half millimeters uh, left in tread depth. So that is perfectly fine. Um, most people, that's exactly what they do. They look at the tread depth, they see, all right, I still got plenty, plenty of tread life left. Um, the tires look in good shape, you know, there's no bulging, there's no screw holes, there's, they're not flat, whatever, bald on one side, um, and that's good. Now, one thing that I noticed, especially over here since I moved to the US, no one ever talks about the age of the tire. Your tire is made from natural materials, materials. so this is rubber. Rubber um, falls apart after a while, so the components will start to deteriorate, right? Especially under harsh uh, conditions. We all know what the sun UV does if you leave a rubber band outside, uh, how it'll lose its elasticity and fall apart. Well, same goes for your car tires. So you want to be able to read how old your tires are. Now, every tire manufacturer has to have uh, a DOT um, date stamp on your tire. So if you look on the outside of your tire, depending how they're mounted, it might be on the inside, but you, what you wanna look for is something that looks like this. You're looking for where it starts with DOT, and you're gonna look for this four digit number and it's usually kinda in this like ovalish uh, shape stamped around here. And you're going to see that it consists of four numbers. Now back pre, I think 90s, 96, something like that, uh, there were only three numbers, but since the 2000s, there's always four numbers, and I'm hoping you're not driving with tires older than that. So the first two numbers indicate the week that the tire was produced. So this would have been the 45th week. And the second two numbers, they represent the year that the tire was made. So 18 means in 2018. So the 45th week of 2018 is when these tires here were produced. Now, for example, if we head over here to my other vehicle, you can see another example. Again, starts with the DOT, and then we look for these ovalish stamps, and these are the 30th week of 2021. So these tires are gonna be two years old uh, this year, 2023, and these tires are going to be five years old now in 2023. So, why is that important? The problem is your tire gets hard. The rubber gets hard, the rubber starts cracking, deteriorating, and it actually doesn't hold as well on the road surface anymore. So you might have plenty of tread depth left, but the rubber itself is too hard and thus reducing um, its ability to optimally hold onto the road surface. Now, if you look on the manufacturer websites, it'll tell you um, what they consider the appropriate lifespan of a tire. I can tell you from my experience living abroad in other countries where they say that tires start to deteriorate in quality after four to five years. So Michelin, for example, um, they will say that you can run their tires almost 10 years before you should toss them away. And other manufacturers will say six or eight. Um, the way I was raised and what I firmly believe in, you rather change your tires sooner uh, 
for performance because you have to remember when your tire is on the ground on the road you have like this much contact surface at all time so a little more than a hand times four and that's what's keeping you on the road so you want good tires on the road so look at your date codes if your tires are more than five years old i would recommend you change them regardless of your tread depth left if your tires are over 10 years old definitely change them with dedicated snow tires like i have over here on the traverse snow tires are a bit different snow tires the way they're built their composition is a lot softer that's why you run them in winter and not in summer and you're wearing them down a lot faster in hot temperatures the minimum on snow on snow tires is three millimeters um, for them actually to still be a safe and um, good tire but again on these they shouldn't be older than four to five years and most manufacturers of snow tires actually say if they're older than six years that's when it's time to replace them because the conditions that snow tires are meant to drive in are going to be a lot harder uh, because of the cold because of the snow and all that and again you have that small contact patch times four which is holding your vehicle on the road so do me a favor don't skimp out on the tires i know it is an expense that comes all the time but your vehicle is usually your lifeline so take care of your vehicle it'll take care of you I hope this video gave you guys some information on how to determine the age of your tires. If you got any questions, comments, criticisms, leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.